In February, I traveled to Lebanon. I stayed for about three months, uh, and my role there was to provide additional support and monitoring uh, to a project that we initiated last year. After the Beirut blast in August, a summer really received quite a lot of funding from the government of Canada. So with those funds, we initiated a project that was able to respond to the immediate needs uh, that came after the blast, but also some of the more long-term recovery efforts. When I arrived in Lebanon, to be honest, I wasn't even sure what I'd expect because I knew about all the issues in terms of what came out of the blast. I know, of course, of the issues coming out of the pandemic, but what was a bit more new to me and what I was kind of wasn't sure what to expect was what happens because of the economic crisis. I know how bad it's been. I know it's been going on since 2019, but I think I couldn't really visualize what the actual impacts of that were and kind of how what the effect that had on people's lives until I actually arrived and had those conversations. This like stability and instability of the currency, it has an effect on everyone, even the middle class. From what I've discussed and what I heard from people, there's basically no middle class anymore. So there's an exhaustion in the sense that there doesn't seem to be a break and resilience is like the, the best word to describe them because even through all of these crises, through the economic crisis, through COVID, all of these things that happen, people are still moving forward. People are still getting on with their lives. They're still working. They're still, if they've lost their job, they're looking for a job. Some of like, if I'm looking at our staff, I'm looking at people I met, like extremely hardworking people. Even when I'm looking at everyday people I met, like service providers and shops and malls and things like that, everyone's still very dedicated to their work. Everyone's still very kind, generous, extremely welcoming, despite like probably the internal hardship and the struggles they're facing. It's hard because I had such a good experience and I learned a lot, but it's, it's disheartening because I've come back and it hasn't gotten any better. We're still here, we're still trying to think of ways that we can support, we're trying to design new programs, trying to ensure that we're filling those gaps and providing the assistance that we can, but it's difficult. It's difficult when the situation is just getting worse. Um, I know that there's always a lot more that needs to be done beyond that. There's tons of people that unfortunately maybe haven't received the aid that they need, um, but we can at least be there to provide as much support as we can in kind of the space that we take.